Hello everyone. Uh, in this episode I want to talk about a little side project that I uh, did a couple of months ago and uh, just recently completed. And uh, this is called a utility mixer. And it's a four channel DC coupled mixer uh, with uh, uh, at 10 inverters on the inputs so it's possible to to mix in a non-inverter signal or a inverter signal and um, yeah the, the main purpose of this is to mix uh, CV signals uh, and um, but it's of course possible to to use it for audio rate uh, so for example if you have uh, three oscillators then that you want to mix together then you can you can use this to, to do that. And um, uh, as I said, this was a kind of side project. I was uh, waiting for uh, components and PCBs to show up for some of my other builds that are ongoing. And uh, so I, I sort of had time. Uh, I was kind of uh, blocked uh, with those activities. So I, I started this one as a small project on the side. And um, yeah, it's not much to say about it. It's a mixer, DC coupled, four inputs, one non-inverted and one inverted output. And it also has a LED uh, for a sort of level indication. But let's start from the beginning and look at the, the, pro the first prototype. So this is the, the first design and um, I'm just using... Um, um, and 3D printed panel for this uh, because I, I wasn't sh exactly sure about the uh, the panel layout so I didn't want to, to make a, a PCB panel for it yet and um, the PCB is as you can see it's um, uh, lots of uh, surface mounted uh, the, uh, components and uh, basically only the pots and the jacks and the LED and two uh, electrolytic uh, capacitors that are, um, are uh, uh, through hole mounted. And uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't completely happy with the, with the design so I uh, moved um, some Com con connectors and components around a little bit. I moved the, um, the LED a little bit more to the center here uh, on, on the final version uh, because I thought that it looked more um, it looked nicer and um, yeah but let's have a look at the schematic diagram and I will explain the design. Okay so here's the schematic uh, if you start with the left side here, we have the four attenuverter inputs and uh, they are connected to um, inverting uh, op-amp uh, with a summing net. Um, so th this is the mixing part. And uh, after that it's, it's also connected to an inverting buffer. Uh, that means that we get both inverting output and non-inverting output from, from the mixer. And uh, down here we have the um, level indicator or VU meter, if you want to call it that. Uh, it's uh, two LED, um, a two color LED or B color LED uh, that uh, uses uh, the green for, uh, for signals below uh, one dB and uh, then only this one is, is lit and if it increases above that then it will uh, light the other one uh, and that will produce an amber uh, light and uh, if the level goes up over 4 db then the, the green light will go out and only the red will will show and uh, the 0 dB reference level here is uh, 5 volt peak to peak. So uh, basically if you only have a s one signal that you're routing uh, through here, then you should only see 
see a green light. Um, but if you start to adding uh, more signals here and uh, the, the level of, of the mix output will of course increase and then you can uh, then you will see that the the, the uh, amber or the red light uh, goes on as well okay so um, there are a couple of things to notice if you plan to build this then I highly recommend that you use uh, one percent uh, um, resistors just to get get uh, the best possible uh, um, precision in the attenuator and uh, uh, you want to be as close as possible to unity gain here for, for this to work and uh, I also added a small feature uh, a 5 volt reference that is rooted to input 4 so uh, as you can see the the other if, if you don't connect anything to the to the jax uh, one two and three uh, you see that uh, the switch here is connected to ground but uh, channel four is a little bit special because there we have the five volt reference instead and this means that if you're not using this channel then you can use the attenuator here to to produce a, a dc offset from ranging from five volt to minus five volt and that can be very useful for uh, uh, if you're using this for producing a sieve signal for example and uh, and yeah as you can see <coughs> there are no uh, block dc blocking uh, capacitors here so this is uh, completely dc coupled and uh, that's the whole point if you want to use it for for uh, mixing cv signals so yeah so that's it basically Okay, let's look at the final product again. Apart from moving the LED from um, uh, a little bit to the to the left here, I also uh, decided to to make uh, um, sort of uh, use the FR4 material in the in the PCB front panel as a light guide, so um, or a, or a lens if you want to call it that. And to achieve that, I had to put uh, both copper layers and um, um, a solder mask on on the on both sides. And uh, so I opened up a, a, an aperture here, both at the bottom and the top. And then I designed a, a shape uh, for for the lens. And uh, I also made a small rim. Uh, sort of with with uh, tinned uh, copper and uh, yeah I think it looks uh, really nice I will show it later when in the in the case when I power it up and uh, but I, I want to mention one thing if you plan to build this uh, and you get hold of these uh, um, bicolor LEDs uh, it's actually quite important that you first of all place them in the correct uh, position I'm not sure if I'm doing that right now but um, the other important thing is that you see the shape of of the legs here uh, if you put it flush to the PCB then you will actually short circuit um, against the, the pads here uh, so, uh, so it's actually quite important that you you raise it a little bit from the uh, from the PCB and put a, a small a couple of millimeters distance. It f f from the um, uh, sort of light uh, perspective or or uh, the height is not so important. Uh, I th I think that it looks better if it's a small. A small distance of a couple of millimeters between the LED and the and the panel, so is the light is spread. Uh, so, but it's so it's not uh, super critical uh, the height. But you should uh, at least raise it a millimeter or two to to make sure that you uh, you don't uh, you don't uh, short circuit the, the LED. All right, so. Um, I will hook it up in the 
um, in my uh, rack and we can have a quick look at how it works. So I have uh, hooked up the mixer to my small uh, Eurorack case and uh, I just wanted to show what the uh, level indicator looks like and uh, um, how it works. And uh, if we power on um, the rack, um, as you can see, uh, the level is showing green here uh, because we, we don't have any signal yet, so we, we are not reaching any any threshold. And uh, if I hook up uh, um, triangle wave output and I increase uh, the gain on uh, on uh, one on that input, uh, you can see still see that. Uh, the, the level is still below the, the threshold or the warning level. But if we uh, add some of the of, of the from the five volt reference, uh, you will see that it will start to turn amber uh, on the po positive uh, when the LFO LED is green. Here, it's on the positive. Uh, half period of of, uh, of the triangle wave and you can see that it turns amber at the peaks and if we increase it a little bit more you will see that it will go from green to amber and from amber to red and uh, yeah that that's basically how the um, um, how the indicator works and uh, let's say that we uh, use the attenuator to um, add a minus 5 volt instead then you will see that it will um, reach uh, uh, amber and red levels at, at the negative uh, uh, half uh, period of the of the triangle wave so um, so yeah so it it detects both this indicator detects both uh, uh, positive and negative uh, levels because it's a full wave uh, rectifier in, in the circuit so yeah so basically that what's uh, what i was uh, planning to show and uh, if you're interested in building one of these then uh, please go to my github uh, you will find the schematics uh, the bill of material and the gerber files for both the um, pcb uh, for the electronics and the, the panel so uh, so yeah please uh, help yourself and if you want to build it just download it and uh, order pcb so i th hope that this has been an interesting episode and uh, thank you for watching and i see you in the next one goodbye